Hey everybody, welcome back to Cup of Style Reviews. I'm TJ and what we're taking a look at is Fans Hobbies, Master Build Series, MB01 Arc Enemy. It's a pretty clear homage to Nemesis Convoy or Robots in Disguise Scourge. Only accessory it comes with is a huge, huge sword you see there. So taking a look at the height, this is masterpiece size, it's about nine and a half inches tall. Those reflexes though. Yeah, nine and a half inches tall. Making them a bit taller than MP10, which is about 9 inches on the dot, I believe. We'll do a comparison here in a second and get it measured up side by side. Alright, roundabout view there. Alright, give you the top to bottom, bottom to top view as well here. And standing next to it, that was Master Build MB02 Megatooth Repugnus. And that's a really cool one. I'm going to film that review right after this. But that size comparison there, you've got them next to Megatooth, as well as MP10, the Hasbro version, Optimus Prime. And you can see, not necessarily significantly, but he is taller. And I actually prefer that. I like my bad guys taller. I like the height variance between the two. Different kind of truck cab and things like that. And I like baddies being bigger. All right. Before we get started on articulation here, a couple of notes. Chest doesn't open, didn't come with tabs to tap the chest in, so the factory actually glued them shut, and the heels actually need to be flipped out from under the feet. Comes in the box with it flipped in. So now we're just going over the articulation here. Full rotation, up and down, chin movement, uh, full swivel on the head, no ball joint though. The antennas, they do rotate there. See, they swing back and forth. Lots of shoulder swing there. Yeah, a little bit of that ab crunch coming out. Right. Independent shoulder outward swing. Full bicep swivel. As well as elbow bend that goes past that 90 degrees. And taking a look at his hands there, they do open and close. They have those full four fingers that move together wrist swivel there and one important part of this is the app crunch not only is it cool but he has a pretty sizable backpack on him not too weighty but just the balance of it in general you'll need to use that app crunch to kind of keep him balanced so get those anime poses on instead of just that straight up g1 styling great uh, hip swing there Good knee bend, about 90 degrees on the dot. Full thigh swivel. Tons of ankle articulation. Now his feet do have some articulation there, but that's only for the transformation. They don't like go forward to help him balance or anything like that. So not a lot of cool stuff to him. All right. Now, looking at the sword, you can see easily how it pegs in there or slides in. It's just got that tab, slide it right in. Find that sweet spot. It's a lot easier to do if your hands aren't fully, or your arms aren't fully extended around the camera, but it comes with the territory. But even right there, got it in just fine. Then just close the fingers. And it's a nice tight grip on that, uh, that tab. Even if his hands are open, it will hold the swords just fine when it's tabbed in. I'll just get them posed up here. I like it. These are nice, big, simple products. Nothing too crazy about them. No crazy panel lining throughout. Not a lot of artistic liberty taken or anything like that. Even the transformation, which we're about to show you in a second, or I'm about to show you, is really straightforward. It's just good stuff. I dig it. There you go. Posed up. And one more note about the sword. Each of his shoulders there does have a hole that the sword can peg into for storage. Wish his alt mode had storage as well. Unfortunately it doesn't, but robot mode is pretty cool and pretty appropriate. Now you actually have to rotate that square twice. The reason they do that is because the part with the hole in it is a little bit rounded on the edges. And if you rotate it twice, you actually get a very flat piece. 
so that it looks a lot more smooth, cohesive on that car hood. Let's extend the peg out of the sword and it pops right in there. I just love the look of it. All right, and there you go. Now let's get them transformed. Sugar, no shame, made weather all day. He said, you never heard of Steve, but have you heard of Tekken? I said, yeah, and I respect the style, because like you and me, they don't even check out. And truthfully, I can't really be that mad at them. Because nah. I don't really even know half of them. Some of them could be cool, I could be right, and I could be wrong. Then Vega looked at me like, wait, whose side are you on? I said, I'm going for the grizzly bear. I'm so team Kuma, I'm not for the cheap. So I'm not Team Geek, he's mean with cool hair. So I'm Team Hey G, I'm never disloyal. So I'm Team M. Bison, I love Capoeira. Team Eddie Gore, so I love Rusty Snipes and Blade. I'm so Team Brave, that's a guy doesn't like him. So I'm not Team Adon, and I don't like Lizard. So I'm not Team Gun. Vega said you should practice if you hope to win. I said if I had to practice, I would like Moku Jin. I have so many styles, no one can hold me from what my fists do. He said I could hurt myself. I said I'm not Yoshi Mitsu. I'm afraid of nothing and that you could quote me on. The strongest guy's name Murdoch. That sound like a Pokemon. Man. If he wanna step up, we get laid out like doormats. And if he think I'm weak, I put him to sleep like Snorlax. Man, I'm hit my jam with a plan to put a hit on your man. If it's profitable, down to the hospital he'll go. I keep it real, that's how I'm gonna be. So I thought King was cool. Till I saw him in that speed of wine. Fury is insane. Who rang? It's too lame. Devil Jen is evil. I'm not Team Honda or Guy Ryu. Or is it Gan Ryu? I can't pronounce these names. But who am I to blame? You? Man, I'm American. And I'm going for the Grizzly Bear. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going for the Grizzly Bear. If, if you're out there, please listen to me. I can't take this line down like Dr. B. Nah, I can't. You see, like, like I didn't get a chance of being Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I doubt I'm in the third installment, but I really need money right now. Like, I'm a, I'm a hustler. You sure already know that. I can sell oil to her con and anything. All right, now we've got them transformed. You can see a pretty simple transformation there. Give you a good look at the, the vehicle mode, that truck cab there. The wheels are rubber, which is a really cool feature. And if I haven't mentioned it yet, the feet are die cast. Helps with the balance, things like that. Pose it. All four wheels roll fine. There's really not much to it. It's a truck cab. You either kind of like that design or you don't. The hibble, or the hibble, the kibble is hidden pretty well on the bottom there. Fortunately, there's no storage for the sword, so that does kind of suck, but I saw that there is storage for the upcoming blaster that's going to come with the upcoming trailer, so stay tuned for that. 
Again, this has been Fans Hobby, their Master Build and BO1 Arc Enemy. Check out the full written and pictorial review on kumasawa.com. Buy yours, chosenprime.com. Links will be in the description. See you next review.